Hey, I'm Carrie, and in this video, we're talking about how to stop mindless eating, aka how to stop blur eating in three steps. Really quick before I get started, my name is Carrie. I'm the creator of Psycho Spiritual Wellness, which is my 100% psychological and spiritual approach to learn how to stop overeating and feel normal around food. If you don't know what the stop, drop, and feel is, don't even bother watching this video. Watch that video first. It's linked down below. And today I am answering a question that someone sent me a while ago on the stop, drop, and feel. She said, when in the middle of a binge, you suggest the stop, drop, and feel method. But whenever I'm in a binge, I feel like I'm a zombie out of my body, not able to think clearly enough to remember your method or have any rational thoughts whatsoever. What do you do when you feel like your thoughts have been completely overtaken by action? This was a really good question because it touches on so many things from Psycho-Spiritual Wellness. So I'm going to break it down into three steps. The first step is to identify if this is hedonic eating or compulsive eating. And when it comes to unconscious eating, unfortunately it's usually both. So. Compulsive eating, in my opinion, is when we eat to numb discomfort, so we eat to lessen our pain. Hedonic eating is the pursuit of pleasure. It's when we eat to gain pleasure. Both of these types of compulsive eating can be extremely compulsive by nature, and so when you put them together, oftentimes it can lead to unconscious eating. I will link to an article below on hedonic eating. One of the best ways to overcome hedonic eating is to just add more joy to your life. If you're feeling stressed out, overworked, and like you don't have enough time for yourself or time for your hobbies, you're probably hedonic eating and you need to add more joy to your life. Otherwise, you will compulsively seek it from food because humans need joy. There's no way around it. So prioritize more joy in your life. The second part, usually with compulsive eating, everyone's got a little bit of hedonic eating going on. It's very rare to only have hedonic eating going on. So then we also have to look at compulsive eating, numbing negative emotion with food. And whenever eating has become unconscious, you're not aware of it, the feelings that we're running from are usually really big. So a lot of stop, drop, and feel is necessary here. And the whole problem, right, is that with unconscious eating, we're not aware enough to do the stop, drop, and feel to begin with. So the next two steps will help you get there. So my second step is to create a log of when you do your unconscious eating. Obviously, you can't make this log while it's happening, but after it happens, make a note somewhere consistently um, of the time and situation when the binge occurred. So you may notice certain patterns come up, like that it usually happens at nighttime, or it happens when you've been running around all day doing errands, or it happens whenever you spend a lot of time with other people. This information is really helpful for you to sort of then anticipate when you might be triggered to run into more unconscious eating. And then you can do the third step, which is to do preemptive stopping and dropping and feeling. So to do a stop, drop and feel, right? We stop ourselves before the binge. Promise yourself that you can back to, get back to the binge if that's what you really want after, but drop into your body, ask yourself what you're feeling. Nine times out of ten, when you give that feeling space to exist, it loses its compulsive edge. With unconscious eating, we can't get to this point yet, so what, you, what I want you to do is on a daily basis, do the stop, drop, and feel anyway. And ideally, do it half an hour to an hour before you know you're going to get triggered, right? So when you look into this log that you're keeping and you identify the patterns around the compulsive eating, let's say it happens every night when you get into bed. Then every day before you get into bed, go somewhere else, go like sit on a couch or a dining room table chair, a dining chair, and do a preemptive stop, drop, and feel. And set your timer for something a little longer, 
like five minutes because at this point with the preemptive stop, drop, and feel, the emotion hasn't come to a head yet. So you might need to give yourself a little more time for something to bubble up. But sit down, set a timer for five minutes, and ask yourself, what am I feeling? What's going on? And in the beginning, you might not be able to name anything. Totally normal. Keep doing this every single day for at least a few weeks. I guarantee you, you'll be able to start naming emotion after a while. And ideally, this will help with your build your emotional awareness so that the next time you binge, eventually you'll get to a point where you're aware of it while it's happening. And then you can do a stop, drop, and feel in real time. So I hope this is helpful. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any of your own questions, you can leave them for me in the comments below. Or what I recommend is to get onto my newsletter. I love connecting with you guys one-on-one -on -one by email. It's my favorite, most preferred method of communication. You can get on my newsletter by downloading my free ebook. What happens? You download the ebook. I give you a crash course in psycho-spiritual wellness, the five most important guides, if you will, and then you get on to my Tuesday newsletter after that. And my Tuesday newsletter is where I send my golden nuggets. <laughs> I swear, that is where I send my best content, honestly, is to my newsletter subscribers every Tuesday. So I hope you get on Z-List, and I'll see you guys next time.